Hey, Travis with T-Customs Productions, T-Customs.com. Today we're back with another Ableton Live 9 tutorial video. Today we're gonna to be specifically talking about the audio to MIDI conversion functionality built into Ableton Live 9. This is a really cool feature that you can explore. There are actually three different options if you're using a standard or sweet version of Live. If you load in any kind of audio track like this one, uh, you can right click and you'll see a convert harmony to MIDI, convert melody to MIDI, and convert drums to MIDI. Now, I've already covered in a past video tutorial uh, converting drums to a new MIDI track. So if you'd like to check that out, I'll make sure to link that in the description and somewhere probably on this video as well. Today, I wanna focus on converting harmony and converting melody. And I'm gonna be using these three tracks as an example. These are actually excerpts from a previous beat that I created and uploaded on my site a couple of months ago. I think it was called A New Day. Now, this is a Rhodes eight bar loops, actually eight bars. This is in double time. One of the bass lines that I'm using and also a combination of all of my main instrumentation, the majority of my main instrumentation in this last track. I just wanna show you really quickly how to do this. It's a really pretty simple process, but also talk about some of the issues that you may have. Keep in mind that an audio to MIDI conversion is not going to be perfect. Even if it's just one melody or one instrument, to be able to convert that into MIDI information is, is pretty cool and make sure that everything's on pitch. First, before we get into the conversion, I just wanna play this first uh, Rhodes loop that I have just to give you a sense of what we're working with, and then we'll do the conversion and and kind of compare the two. Okay, so now you got a sense of that. Uh, you can hear that there's a little bit of processing done. There was some automated panning. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on this and we're gonna convert the harmony to new MIDI track. We're gonna convert harmony because these are actually chords that are being played. If it was just a single melody or single note that was being played, we may wanna do convert melody to new MIDI track. But in this case, we're gonna do the harmony conversion. Okay, so that may take some time depending on how long your loop is, depending on how fast your processor is uh, to actually convert all that to MIDI information. What it did with this particular audio file is it, obviously you can see the MIDI information and MIDI track here. It also loaded up a grand piano instrument for me. I'm gonna play this through and you're gonna notice that it's not perfect. There are some accidental notes that were thrown in the mix, but I just wanna play this through first. You can get a comparison of what you just heard versus what it converted that audio to. So you can obviously tell that it's very close. There's a lot of the same harmonies and same notes from the audio above, but you will notice these accidental notes up here at the top. You may notice it didn't convert some of the connector notes, like it just didn't register certain tones that you can actually hear in the audio format. Why does this happen? Well, basically it comes down to the algorithm, how the algorithm is programmed, what information it's taking in to do this conversion and calculation. For whatever reason, it's detecting, you know, maybe some harmonics or some additional notes up here in the higher register. Another thing that this algorithm will take into account as far as detecting a change in the audio and maybe where a new note could potentially start are these uh, transients. If I open back up this audio format, if you've done any kind of you know, sample slicing or anything like that, you're probably already familiar with the white markers here. These that are called transients. And this is basically that shift or change in different inflection in the audio. And so Ableton can use this information to tell where maybe a new note's coming down or where something is changing. And keep in mind for this, this is only essentially one instrument. This is a Rhodes piano that's being converted into MIDI. Now think about what could potentially happen after you see all these additional notes and some imperfections in that conversion when you start introducing more instrumentation, when you start introducing a sample, let's say, that has a string section and has horns and has a vocal. And so when you do this conversion on a complex harmony or something that has a multiple instrument stack, you just have to be more careful of what to expect. Next up, I just wanna solo this bass line. Now this, I'm gonna actually do a conversion to melody. This is gonna tell Ableton that I don't need multiple notes at any given time. It's gonna find what's the best note to be played at that particular transient or that particular timing, and it's gonna give me that note versus a chord or multiple notes at the same time. First, I just wanna play this back in audio format, and then we'll do the MIDI conversion. So 
So you may already hear like some sort of pitch bending or hear some imperfection in that audio. So you can only imagine when we convert this that it may not be perfect, even though we're just going to a melody conversion. So I'm just gonna right click, uh, convert melody to new MIDI track and see what we got. Okay, so it went ahead and created the uh, MIDI track here, like before. It's got the MIDI information, and what you'll notice here, because we did the melody conversion and not the harmony, that there's only one note at any given time throughout this. So I still don't think it's going to be perfect, but I can even tell right here that it didn't register this particular note. But uh, we'll play it back and see what it sounds like. It's also went ahead and loaded in, I guess, a synth or some sort of uh, maybe a bass sounding instrument. So we're going to hear and see what this sounds like. As you can tell, it did a pretty damn good job. There were some places where it didn't register particular notes. It could have been a number of things. I just want to play you back. I don't have all of the track here, but I have a lot of the main instrumentation. I've added additional synths and a lot of other instrumentation and layers to this. Play back this last audio track, and then we're going to convert that to harmony and see what that sounds like. So now that you get a sense of what that sounds like, we're gonna convert that harmony to MIDI. It went ahead and gave us a grand piano as an instrument. Just by looking at this, you can probably see that there's a lot of information in here that we don't want or need, but I'm gonna go ahead and play this back and let you hear what this sounds like in MIDI. Okay, so you can probably tell right away there's a lot of information in there that you probably don't want, a lot of excess notes. The main thing I want to point out, this is not perfect. You have to be more considerate and more careful, especially when you start introducing more instrumentation, uh, as you can definitely tell with this harmony conversion here. You may be able to weed through this and figure out what notes you don't need and kind of isolate that. It's going to take a lot of work, I already know, just by looking at this. This tool definitely can be useful. It is going to be more effective if you can have those isolated instruments, at least so far in my experience. If you have any other input on this, tips on how you can better utilize uh, these conversion tools, please feel free to drop them in the comments. You can also check out the channel for more production tips and Ableton Live tutorials. As I personally learn more about the audio to MIDI functionality and conversion within Ableton, I'll make sure to update you. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned with any new content and videos that are posted there. There's also a lot of additional resources at tcustoms.com that will be linked below. If you have any other questions, let me know. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.